Yeah. Your eyes do not deceive you, my friends. <laughs> that is a long, yeah. long Mark One Escort. Yeah. The story goes, Pete was rolling home from last August's Cars Under the Stars with Gav, who you'll meet in a few weeks' time. The gem's slow, so he just keeps cruising along the Great Western Highway, doing about 65 in a 70 zone. This deep purple Mark I appears in his revision mirror. As it comes past, the majestic beast just keeps going, and going, and going. We caught Pee Wee at a set of lights, exchanged some compliments, then jagged a quick pick as Pee Wee drove off. That was August last year, and we've been flat out, so we left it at that. We've always known that the stretch Mark I estate existed. Pete first met Pee Wee at Small Ford Day around 2003, but since then, he had forgotten about its existence, until that chance encounter on the Great Western Highway on a cold August evening. And then a few weeks back, a mate of ours, Shannon, tagged Pete in a fresh spot over the Stretch Mark 1 at the local shops in St Mary's. Right, that's it. We need to find out if Pee Wee will come on GRG. A post was made asking for help contacting Pee Wee. Thanks to Dan and Jason, who were both quick to point us in the right direction. Meet Pee Wee. Panel beater, tinkerer, inventor, dad, and Ford Escort fan. When we say Ford Escort fan, we mean it. Yeah. 75th anniversary, I drove around the Ford Proving Grounds. They had a Ford day. Oh, wow. Down in Melbourne, mm. so it was a big entry pie thing. And mm. done laps around the Ford Proving Grounds. Mm. That's great. Ford everything, isn't it? Oh, Amazing. just things I pick up. Yeah, I yeah. Find. I mean, that's the sort of thing, once once people know you collect it, yeah, it sort of turns just, up, doesn't just it? Just Each of it's got its own little story. Mm -hmm. It's great. So, yeah, no, no, no. And that's uh, only a very, there's milk crates underneath there full as well with mm -hmm. other trophies. And I lost a lot of trophies in the last... Tell us the story, no, come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I found items, so I thought I'd stick it oh, there. Yeah, it's right, a no. talking point. Yep. It actually turns around, so the more you... Mm. Look into it. But you need to go. You need to walk around it to see. There's yeah. people bludgeoning toilets. Mm. There's yeah, chicks on computers. There's <laughs> blokes doing yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So. Look up to it. in the should, sun. It should yes. be in the sky. It, yes. yes. Yeah, I got it now. Yeah. Don't worry about power lines. We're in suburbia. Suburbia, that's life. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Right. That's just a yeah. yeah. Escorts. Now we go down to Corgi Sky. Yeah. And then at the bottom shelf we go down the matchbox car. And you got the wagon. So what are these matchbox with, cars? Yeah. With trailer? With mass and trailer. Yeah. Port two, you've cut one. Yeah. The <laughs> thing is though, the thing for me is I'm sitting here looking at a, at this beautiful pinball machine, you got the Ford stuff here, and then I look out the window. That's alright, yeah. it's a beautiful view. Beautiful day. view. <laughs> You've punted my seats. Now these have been everywhere. These seats. You've, you've banned them. We're yeah, gonna sit on no, these bad boys, yeah, are we? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I can be accommodating. I can yeah. do this. <laughs> Get them. Oh, hello. Hey. There we go. Don't worry about my chairs. We've got special chairs here. Okay. And, and he, look at the view. How's the view today? Uh, welcome to Grassroots Garage. We're on Pee Wee's front porch. Pee Wee, thanks for your time. Thank you. Tell us about. Tell us about your cars. I start. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit to go through. There's yeah. a couple of cars involved. There's a stretch escort. Um, I'm going to film that right now. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. One of in the world, I, I'd like to think. Definitely, no one else yeah. be crazy enough to do it. Standard. Keep it simple. Standard engine, standard gearbox, standard diff. Two litre brakes in it, of course, for the extra weight. Nice simple build. 600 to 1,000 hours. Backwards forward. Over a two year period. Yeah. And this is this is 2002. You said was the was yeah the, 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 uh, the launch date. We've got it on the road for its first drive. It was 2002 mm -hmm. near near Aug uh, near Easter time. Mm -hmm. um, its maiden voyage was actually down to Narra Court uh, for a Van Nationals down there. So it was basically finish off, get it on the road, and let's go. Is yeah. it about that blew some mines yeah, down there no, in that no, Van Nationals? It, yeah, it yeah. Also, also come along with a half a car trailer behind oh, it. Oh, here it is. Look at this. It's all me camp and stuff in the back of it. 
we've also yeah you're wrong yeah we're, yeah. we're, we're also got a little exhaust tip in the crowbar <laughs> yeah. on the back of this one yeah all uh, right which mm. when it when it drives down the road it actually looks like a car and painted the front end so mm. a lot of it's all like kind of stencil but there's a little bumblebee there as well yeah and that's because right. you've just yeah. had to go to airbrushing yeah a bit more and more of my airbrushing time oh, yeah Took me a day to I do, do it. I do love the cracked windscreen. Yes, yeah. I had to have a second look at it then. Yeah, I saw, yeah. so these chairs are pretty comfy. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, mind this at all. To get rid of these area. things. I might yeah, have to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are to go missing. But you need the steps too. Right? Got that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, got no, no, the no, steps you, to lie you've on. Got to have yeah, the boat. Yeah. So, I've got the Fords that Ford never made. Yeah. Right. They're still Fords, but they didn't make them in this shape. Custom. Yeah. You're today. right. Yeah. So yeah. it's what happens when you chop two thirds of a car and two thirds of a car and join them together. You get. Yeah. All right. Sliding back sunroof in the like back. Yeah. It's very cool. Okay, so where's the cut? Where's the cuts here? Uh, right through the middle here. Oh, through the through the middle. Okay. Right. You remember yeah. that it's a it's a long cut from here. Yes. Yep. Right. And then the other the other shape that I had a Mark 1 front got cut from the back screen. Yes. So by yeah. the time it was put together, yeah. it joined there. Joined there. Actually, mm -hmm. Before mm -hmm. I actually found the measurement, I decided on the suicide door. Side door. Question was, you can't open the back door without opening the front. That's Make clever. How did you know nah, that? Engineer. Oh, really? Engineer. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school, but yeah, I love that. You that's can't open that. the front yeah. door without opening the roof. And that, that's what the engineer said. That's so no one yeah, so on the yeah, freeway. Anywhere. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That is genius. Can you just do that again for me? That is just. I mean, and that's. Did you. Did, engineer said you've got to have it, and you've just gone, I yeah, know how to fix yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy as that. Yeah. And it runs through the main tr tradition bar, yes, which goes through yes, the Yes, so that's, of that's the door. safety as well. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah so in the front and in the rear. Yeah. With the suicide door. I mean, don't let anyone ever. I would, I would hate oh. to think what would happen if you don't do that. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's rubber on the inside and hasn't marked it over yeah. the years. Oh, so, it's so it has still, happened, hasn't it, it? Well, it, it still hits Every on the, yeah, it still it's hits on the intrusion yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not that it's not that hit here but with nothing behind it. Mm -hmm. There's that's an intrusion the bar. Yeah. That's the strongest part. And you of just it. cut a little nick out of the nick out of the, the B pillar there. Yeah, yeah. Well that yeah. section half of that there is out of another car. Got ya. Yeah. And then that continues on to the bottom of the sill. Yeah. Until around about here. Yeah. You got the, got the needed... seat in the back, got the baby yeah. seat, that's great. He'd love coming in this, wouldn't he? I mean he it'd yeah. just be a day in the life for him though, wouldn't it? He wouldn't yeah. he wouldn't know how special it is to be in this car. It's an extra seventy centimetres longer. Yeah. Yeah, so that's based so... on that window size. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to make a door up and find that I couldn't have a window. Mm -hmm. So I've made a standard escort driver's door, mm -hmm. window fits into all the doorway, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. give me 70, 70 centimetres to work with. So have you flipped, this is a this driver's is door? This is a driver's door turned around. Turned around and you've cut it to here. Oh no, 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 that's not cut. No, no, that's the driver's no, door. No, 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 there's a section there, there's mm -hmm. a section there. And then there's a section through the middle. Through the middle. That's yeah. the front door where all the hinge pillar and everything yeah, on. Yeah, got right. Yeah. That section there is the front guard mm -hmm. of the other car. And then yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a front guard. Yeah. Isn't that clever? Yeah. So you've you've sat down. And you've really thought about how to make that the suicide the long, door work. That took yeah. the longest time. Yeah. Of doing the whole vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I made this in the year of 2002. And what, what year model car is it? Um, 69 oh, model. 69 model, yeah. Based on the front. Yeah. So, so what what made you want to do this car like this? Oh, it was just a stretch. It was just another job to something do. Something fun. Yeah. Something unique. I, I had the opportunity to get the back end. The back end is the... So the back end's front got written off. Mm -hmm. The guy lost it and hit a guardrail. Mm -hmm. The passenger side strut had broken out and gone underneath the floor. Mm -hmm. Right? That's how hard it was hit. Mm -hmm. So the front end was only any good for a cut and shut. Initially, the front end has been cut and shut when it got brought over from the Fuji Islands. On the identification tag, it read that it was a left-hand vehicle made from factory mm -hmm. it was delivered to the Fijian Islands on the same time back in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. 
when it got imported to Australia, they uh, cut the front off and put an Escort panel van front on it. Turned it into a 79 vehicle. <laughs> so going back to um, cutting the front off again, which was wrecked, completely wrecked, had no motor in it, it was all just it was stripped out. I only got mm. the back end shell, but the back end shell was all complete. Had all the trim in it, it had all the glass in it, it had all everything on the back end. Sure. I had a Mark 171 front, uh, sedan sitting in the front. So I took her in and I cut her up mm. and just made the two together. In the one. In the one. Yeah. Um, it's got a standard early model Mark 1 gearbox, mm -hmm. it's got a three piece tail shaft. Where I've cut it through the floor, still kept to the tail shaft mounts without changing anything. Mm, so mm. all I had to do was extend the ch tail shaft from the two mounts, mm, yeah. 70 centimetres, exactly. And what, that's just, you just literally just cut two tail shafts? No, no, no that went off, the, it also got that's balanced. Oh, that yeah, went over to yeah, a tail oh, shaft yeah, manufacturer yeah. and they made me up a brand new tail shaft. Oh, that's great. Right, new yeah, unis, the yeah, whole lot, the yeah. whole lot. Well, it's a need, mate, it's a need. So yeah, you don't want to muck around. Um, right? Some things, yeah do pay for a lot of it i'm lucky that you know i don't pay for a lot of uh, material yeah parts on the odd occasion but all the labor i do myself yeah. there's not nothing that very rarely to see anyone else do anything on my car nice. i even cringe when there's a uh, pink slip needed New South Someone Wales. else is touching it. Yeah. No, well, it dries off in the sunset, man. Mm -hmm. like, wow. Give me oh, my car back. Come on. <laughs> right? I don't see that that often. I'm on the inside, not on the outside. Yeah, 100%. Uh, what, what time is it, Ryan? It'd be test drive time, Petey. I've done a couple of weddings in it. Yeah. Oh, not weddings, performances. I, I reckon say. you should be hot renting this thing out, Pee I reckon you should be. 100 bucks an hour. Nah. I've, I've done a yeah, as I say, I've done a few formals in it. Mm. And um, I do actually have to go, I'm going to take it for a trip up to Queensland mm -hmm. sometime near the end of the year for a mate of mine's wedding. Mm. So, um, it's yeah. Just Thanks for watching. I know you see those other cars. We have a lot more to share, so stay tuned.